Ready to mosey on down to the next car? <laughs> no way, Dag Nabbit. Are you got it, partner? Mm-hmm. You got it, partner. No, was to train Dragonite. Thank you, Fox. See, he remembers. Oh, that was the first thing. Onwards. Shut up, Fox. <laughs> Fox gets it. They don't mess around. True friend. Never. Oh, I want that poster. Hang in there. Of course you do. Wait, the like... chow one or the, the other one? Both. Yes. But I don't know what this is, but I don't want this one. Why not? Oh, I know what that is. That's f***ing oh. uh, up. Uh, what's the name of it? What? Puppy, I'm busy. Puppy, Puppy I'm, I'm busy. busy. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Nick will be back eventually. I'm here. I guess so. Mm-hmm. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, SBO and I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? Look, she's a deer. She's got antlers now. <laughs> oh, Chuck said your dog's trying to tell you where the poster's from. <gasps> she mm -hmm. does know. Isn't that right, honey? Yeah? You gonna speak up? No? Okay. You're both too sweet. Thank you. Hmm, Vector, it seems we have more guests. <clears throat> We're gonna ruin the moment. Yeah. Amy, there you are. Have you found any leads yet? Or you want to join us in finding clues? Uh, yeah, they're pretty much the same to me. Yeah, I'm gonna mm -hmm. see if she found any leads. Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl. She knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. Just remember that line. Sassy on their no. I don't know. I'm 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 saying. I just want you to remember that line in uh. Fuck. When is July? Uh. In nope. About three My months. birthday. Nope. Why? I want to be sassy nope. on my birthday. Nope. I knew that's where you were going, and I said nope. Bullshit. As a matter of fact, we might cancel your birthday this year. No! These rules only apply in Sonic City. <laughs> True. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you. And quick. Gotta go expeditiously. <laughs> but how are you gonna leave? The door next to the car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? Shwing. The birthday girl has a master key. I know we brought it up in the first episode, like when we saw it, but I fucking love how cute this key is. It's good. It's really cute. Yay design. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. But I, Mom. Just making sure things go well. Here to ask if anyone's hungry. Yeah. Yeah, right? Would you yeah, like a microwave hot dog? I'm sorry if you're not even starved. I'd kill for a chicken parmesan right about now. Shut up, Dan. <laughs> Why don't you like when I talk about chicken parmesan, you cuck? I think that just sounds like you in general. Yeah. Because you're the voice you gave him is your Kuwabara voice, and that's just how Dan's talk. That's just that's Dan's true. inner monologue yeah. voice, yeah. Maybe I have to turn the volume. I have to turn the channel one, so it's more Kuwabari. <laughs> Jux that I remember was my birthday, now let me just break into people's houses. Yeah! yeah. See? Birthday yeah. sass privilege. Beanie key. Oh, Beanie key. Maybe Imagine kill isn't the, the right language to use right now. 
I'm Vector, the Butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. Yeah. Wow. And I am Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from the poet to reader meant to challenge our dedicate, uh, delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Prose? Pros. 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 Really? Can like I hear some? Controller. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, look at the little blushy. He's all red. Or pink. He's always pink. He's always pink. Sure, uh, teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 la. De 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 de. Okay, so this just sounds like Nick on yeah. a normal one. <laughs> that's just my. That's just how I make poetry. Also, look at this guy. <laughs> all the guys. Ends in, They're has, all pretty good. Kyle has a tiny pee pee. Yeah, Kyle now has a tiny get... pee pee pee. Now can we go get Mina's, please, please, please? Yeah. Get out of my laboratory. What? Was that it? I have more if you'd like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. Ah, I'm uh, satisfied for now. Thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. You don't have to rhyme to make a poem. That's a popular misconception. Wonder Bread and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Sorry, I'm choking on water. Hold on. Good. Die. <laughs> Jesus, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> I was sad that no one responded to that. <laughs> Thank you. I was going to leave you in the quiet for that one. It's a murder mystery. It's on theme. Yeah, Dan's just resting. <laughs> oh, sure. It's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car. All right, sorry, I'm just trying to get a layout because this was. Yeah. We were back here, I'm assuming. Yeah, okay, so we were back here. Wow, that means Sonic you, had to go all the way through. Here, I can't see where you're pointing. Oh, you don't yeah. see that clicker? So on the bottom no. where the little flower is with the two chairs? Yeah. That's the room we were all in when we started. That's my assumption. Yeah. Yes. Doc said I keep forgetting the name of your OC. Do not steal. Wunderbread? Mm -hmm. um, so that means that Sonic had to go all the way from the top of the car all the way back to the dining car. Yep. So this man's been everywhere. Yep. So the only person that we don't know for a fact um, what was like with Knuckles in that room, which means they would have had to pass right now, would have been Espio and um, this... This feller. I still don't know where you're pointing. Oh, sorry. The purple feller. Um, to be fair, Laura, I can't yeah. see it either. He says, he says Blaze came through right in oh. there. Okay. So they, they passed through here, but Blaze. Knuckles yeah. never made any mention of Blaze at all. But he's also stupid. Valid. Okay, sorry. I'm reading too much into it. Yeah. So essentially, no one's off the chain. Okay. He was too busy eating all the salt off of the peanuts. <laughs> yeah. Where Amy told me an SBO to say. I think I'm going to change my grumble. I promptly picked the book off the shop shelf and made myself comfortable. Fox says our OC is looking to get Wonder Bread. Well, yeah, Ooh. he's definitely a bottom. He's pregnant. Speaking of stupid, <laughs> should we help Sonic before he actually dies? Nah, hell no. No, nah. he has enough rings. He's fine. Better got so bored, he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rouge? Rouge. Rouge. Rouge? Whoa. Whoa. Rouge. 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 Yeah. Fuck, I'm losing okay? it. It's Roger. Yeah, where was Roger. Roger? What happened to her lipstick stain in the cup at the saloon car? Sorry, it's also me. Yeah, my bad. 
It's weird having two characters on screen. I have no idea how you do it literally every time. <laughs> waka waka. Roger came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. And then she went to sit. Can you hear that in the background? No. Oh, no. thank God. Because it's popping up on the feed, so sorry for you guys at home. You're popping. Then she went to go search for the saloon car. She came back shortly after, and we heard her shout, No way! At the top, at the brochure stand over there. But then she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. I wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Roger left, Shadow walked through the casino car. Then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. Soccer oh, wants the me. voice of SBO. That's what, what Chuck says. Well, what she's already got a good voice for oh, it. Chuck said Soccer wants the voice of SBO. Yeah. Yes. Ba -ba 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 -ba. She's giving a good ba bow. Mm -hmm. She sure is. We already have more people watching tonight than we did last time. That's Good. confusing. Speaking of which, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go have the dog go downstairs. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave you guys here for a minute. Can you? Can you scat for me? Great. I'm gonna call back my stand-in. Hey, Kyle. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever just spoke. It sounds like they were abducted by aliens. Mid tone. Cool. Oh, cool. What do you want, Laura? That was good. I'm a scat man. Did Nick just pull the move where he left the room and said, "Hey, Kyle," and then expected me to fill all the dead air? Yeah, pretty much. He asked us to do it last time and go beat up, beat that up. No, we don't need to scat man John for the whole time he's gone. That's okay. Caroline wants to know who killed Sonic. Who done it? Well, Caroline, you'll have to sit here with everyone else and watch. We'll never know because Nick's never coming back. No, nope. he, he went to go kill Sonic. Fox said I'm watching tonight because I was playing in a Scion 2E game Monday. A Scion? That sounds exciting. Aren't what those the that? cars that keep exploding? No. Yeah. Oh, that's a Kia Soul. Chuck, said, <laughs> Chuck says they ship Wonder Bread to North Korea, but I read that as I ship Wonder Bread with North Korea. And Same I'm here. For that. North Korea is my <laughs> OC. He's not a hedgehog. He's a whole country. North Korea or a half country. Yeah. In Korea. Mm. Gotta walk through the library or library car. To the saloon car. Where Knuckles and I were playing games. You're Mishy. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I love that they keep they keep advertising Super Monkey Ball. This brings me so much joy. Caroline that says it was cute. Eggman in the parlor room with the crowbar. I'm just throwing this He's out there, the Caroline. Room. If it actually We're turns out to be Eggman with a crowbar, I'm real upset with you, but also somehow not surprised because that sounds kind of like Eggman hit the end of his rope. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. Saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car, again locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. When Victor came back, we realized that Knuckles had locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. Chuck said Shadow probably killed him with a real gun. And so said, <laughs> <laughs> said how long until they advertise some Yakuza. I really wish they would. You never know. I'm That's just throwing it out there. If he picked up. up a Sonic statue and just carry just crack somebody with a Sonic statue, I'd be so happy. It was the little girl from Sonic in the Night, the Black Knight, with yes. the big sword. <laughs> Do you care what I'm suggesting that Eggman cracked? Ah. Okay. Waka waka. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived, asking us questions. She is the one who told us, told us somebody murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. With all these locked doors, it seems Vector or Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. 
Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. <laughs> if you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. Thanks, Daddy. But Real. And if you would like to be serenaded with a poem, I got you covered. Yes, please. Thanks, guys. Their alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this tale. Absolutely. I thought he was smoking for a minute. I was like, Jesus, Vector. Yeah, big plumes. All right, so let's do this. I want to see if we can go back to the. Oh, we cannot. OK, wait, maybe. OK, never mind. So it's going to tell me uh, or I'll, I'll read it anyway. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on the way out. There's got to be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's lock is added to your inventory. OK, there so I go. guess that was important. I was I wanted to see if we can go all the way back to where Sonic was and see if he's still there. Yeah, probably is. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, and I mean, unless he's actually for real dead. Uh, um, he's everyone, not in this, everyone in this image looks like they don't care. So my guess so far, based on the fact that it seems like everybody could not have gotten into that car mm -hmm. without seeing somebody do it, is either everybody did it, which I think would be, well, very Sega-y, or somebody did it and moved him. Or it was Arm. Well, oh, let's huge ask him. spoilers for a hundred year old book, but that's how it works on Orient Express. What? Mm. Yes, the robot arm killed everyone on that. On oh, that cool. Wow. Look at how sad he know, is. We all know they broke the one rule and that it was Amy who killed him with their hair hammer. <laughs> <laughs> she was yeah. jealous of the cup of ketchup he was drinking. She was like, I wanted that cup. Oh. Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling to clean up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. So this right here, the, the little red guy. Do you guys remember when they made Sonic Forces on Switch? What little uh... red guy? Vaguely familiar. Oh, sorry. That's oh, right. You can't see it. So between, so between the hang there yeah. poster and then Professor yep. Puppy Woof Woof. Right. Yeah. Um, so like the default character, like if you just made a red character and he had a shirt that just said gamer on it, this is just his horrifying stare. That's what that is, I think. That's nice. hilarious. It's a cute little reference. I love I love when a company knows they're just like, yeah, we can make fun of ourselves. And Sega has a lot okay. to make fun of for. Thing is good for that. Also, yeah. I like the concept of a two-story train car. I do too, a lot. Large it sounds very. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like very, especially with books. Like, yeah. like these definitely won't fall. Oop, oh, oh, that's right. Chaos Cola. Mm hmm. Check out our book club. Book of the month: Gone Gal. Gone Gal. Uh, I think yeah, Chaos yeah. Cola is the winner of this one. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Maybe yeah. the Gone Gal is a reference and Sonic faked his own death. <laughs> Another spoiler for an old book. Laura, I'm the only other person here who gets your Gone Girl reference. Okay, somebody will. It's a popular movie. A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, hang in there. Wow, I really needed to see this. Eh. Well... This little chow is hanging in there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this chow can stick to his principles and find strengths, and I can too. There's no way there was that much thought <laughs> put into this poster. <laughs> right? <laughs> 
pretty good. Da -da. Ooh, book. Just a single book. Single book. Got pictures. That's, a, that's this bright red book. Ooh, oh, yeah, that reeks of... Oh, sorry, you first, Daniel. Chuck said the problem with a train mystery is movement is very restricted. A two-story train could be interesting. That's true, kid. Yeah. And thank you for the bits. And also, everyone's a Sonic character, so, like, someone probably just teleported and gagged Sonic and I left. mean, we did find out that one of them can travel through dimensions. That's... That could exactly. be a thing. What's stopping her from traveling through train cars? Yeah, why did she even have to pay for a ticket? She could just warp down to the train. That's not the nice way to do things. That's true. That's true. It is very, very rude. we only get the rude. discount if all eight of us buy a ticket. Oh, it's like an escape. Oh, that makes sense. It's like an escape room. Yeah. You gotta pay for it ahead of time anyway. Exactly. Um. Oh, yuck. That reeks of the evil scientist, Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Wonder Bread. <laughs> Microwave hot dogs? Ooh. Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. I do. And a little propaganda. You may not be wrong. All right, let's, I want to talk to everybody last. I want to analyze everything first. And you know where we always have to start, right? Well, the train. Yeah. Well, yeah. But there's Too definitely something in the trash. Started. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check here. It won't until the end. I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. Oh, I really thought there'd be something in there. Wonder Bread, are you sad there's nothing in the trash bin? No, no, I'm all right. I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. Thank you. You really think so? Uh, yeah, we just got to stay optimistic. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah, yeah, OK. These trash bins hide a secret. I am sure of it. Wonder Bread, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Wink. Ooh, is that supposed to be a compliment? So I guess there is nothing in the trash bin. Nathan. None trash. A globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat either. Oh, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia, if you've ever been there. That's where Dan's mm -hmm. gone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love Spagonia. I love, well, how do you I know we haven't been Spagone. yet? Oh, true. I have, actually. And if you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. <laughs> be sure to say... Yeah? <laughs> it shouldn't have got me dead though if you're ever visiting be sure to stop at the university and say hi to professor pickle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. professor pickle mm. he'll tell you he's the funniest shit he's ever seen and he makes mm. one scrumptious sandwich mm. well, i'll keep that in mind thanks hilarious uh -huh. this group knows everyone and has been everywhere haven't they Oh, pamphlets? Books? So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. What Wonder Bread, like, specifically, it, it, your voice definitely helps it. But um, specifically from his dialogue, he is very... Huh. How do I explain that? Handsome. Handsome. No, he's a bottom, honey. Um, oh. But that has nothing to do with the current thing I'm talking about. He's very detective frog. Like, just the way his dialogue is written just seems to be very... I don't want to say meta. Disaffected? Yes, that's a perfect way to describe it. 
Yeah. That's Detective Hog. Do -do 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 -do. That's Detective Hog. Hot dog microwaver. Yeah. And that's all he aspires to be, and that's okay. Yeah, and we respect that. Act your wage. Yeah. We don't judge. A lot of these were knocked out when the train was speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of them out searching for something, too. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for these poor books. The spines are creasing, and they're opening too far. Kid feels empathy for everything. That lamp has an old light bulb in it. Tales in this game reminds me of, there's just one episode of Steven Universe. Um, where Pearl just goes, Steven, you cry about everything. And he goes, no, I don't. And she goes, last week you cried because you saw a snake. And he goes, it didn't have any arms. Aww. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> so fucking silly. Ooh, brochures. There are travel destination ideas like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, and restaurants. Ooh. Wonderbread, look at this. There's a couple maps here. This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. It's pronounced Janeer. Yeah. I love Richard a good Jr. overhead map. Let's take it. Great. Library map uh, is added to your inventory. Chuck said, Nikki, why do you have to remind me about the snack too soon? And then he marketed <laughs> the snake. The snake. He didn't Should have any this? arms. He didn't have any arms. Should we take this brochure about a cave too? Look, there's still types. Nah, leave it. Oh, haha, oh, yeah, that's fair. I hate caves. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. What? What kind of animal yeah. is Wonder Bread? Do we have any inkling at all? I don't know. Is yeah. stalactite the top one or stalagmite the top one? Might is top, tight is bottom. I hope remember, he's just making stalactite, it up. Stalactite has a C in it for ceiling. Oh, I always thought it was like stalactite for top, but it's opposite. Stalactite, C for ceiling. Just uh, You just oh, ask um, yourself no, which one. Question. Yes. Uh, Wonderbread is a protagonist. That's what Oh, you're are. right. My oh. favorite kind of animal. My favorite mm -hmm. mammal. Pseudo said generic furry mama. That too. <laughs> That's true. We love that. Oh, let's take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy. So plush. Puts me right in the mood to read. Okay. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. Sorry, Coast is trying to order me food. It's Yay. fine. My dog keeps pawing at my door and being a drama queen. My cats are asleep. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. Yeah. Wonderbread, no, don't fall asleep. Oh. There's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time a murderer ruined my nap time. <laughs> I think that's every thing that we can play. Uh, Fox said Wonder Bread definitely enjoys letting guys explore his cave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's talk to Espio. And my fan Becky does. Mm -hmm. And see a poem. Can I get a poem about space? How about a poem about trains? You know what I want. Trains? Laura does love yeah. big train. This is a big train. Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my lotion. The window <laughs> shuts. Or the window shows the ocean. Oh, wait. There's my lotion. <laughs> Coaster really liked that. Was that him cackling in the background? Yes. <laughs> Fucking That's stupid. Wonderful. Don't take much. He's wheezing. I always love when the chows pull the curtains back. It's really cute. Mm -hmm. Aw, thanks. I actually really like that one. Huh? Uh, I'm going to ask him about the other one before we start. Oh, wait, I think it was probably just talk. Yeah. What did it be? Space. Yeah. I've made it up to space with my beloved antique vase. 
but a mistake in my haste. Dropped the vase from my embrace, so my antique I must now replace. What caused you to drop the vase? Don't read too deeply, it is just a poem. He hasn't thought it through, has he? I was in space. Alright, well, let's see what he wants to eat. Can I take your order, sir? I have a poem about this. My starved stomach babbled. Through it, I ignore grumbling tummy. For the eggs I received are scrambled. For when I asked my eggs, sunny. Oh, we missed a bunch of things in chat. Oh, wow. We don't serve any eggs on the train, though. So, Jux said the internet says Wonder Bread is a quokka. He's a quokka? Aww. Yeah. Cute. That's fucking cute. That's like a squirrel puppy thing. I love them. They're smiley. Yeah, they are. And then Fox said I was just forced to watch five ads in a row. Wow, that's awesome. Well, you know what you wouldn't have to do if you paid for our services, Fox. Give me your money. That's not worth it. No, Leave it's really not. Up. We don't update nearly enough to make it worth your time. But if you have Amazon Prime, you get a free Prime sub every month. That's valid. And you can use it on us. Or hey. your favorite Twitch streamers. That's Twitch, baby. It's the critter that throws its baby to get away. Oh, you. Fox said, do I look like I have Twitch money? That's true. If you if you made a successful channel like us, you too could be making $17 a month. Nick, how many Twitch subscriptions do you have? Uh, it depends. I think the channel's in my name. Does that count? No. Oh, uh, well, then zero. No. <laughs> um, oh, did you read that? I brain farted. Yes. Okay, my bad. My bad. My talent is wasted on you lot. Fancy a poem? I think oh, wait, we, we don't want to interrogate him yet. We want to get information first. I think it what? just dawned on me that I spend more in gas driving to recording than the whole channel makes per month. Yeah, definitely. I think Laura <laughs> spends more on, on that than you do. I don't think that's true because she works five minutes from recording. You know what? That's valid. Mm -hmm. Valid. Did You're you a machine. Bring me meat to chop. I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. Oh. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup stain apron, not a butcher. I really wish he ketchup. said blood. That would have stepped up that line so much better. <laughs> Huh? I wish he had said blood. That would have stepped oh. up that line so much better. An anonymous gifter gave Fox a tier Aww. one sub. Thank you, anonymous gifter. Is, is an anonymous man named Pseudo in the audience tonight? It literally just says an anonymous gifter on the chat. Thing. I would love oh. very specifically if someone is in our chat right now called an anonymous gifter. That'd but be great. Whoever, whoever gifted that, thank you. Thank you. That was very kind of you. It, it, also, I, it means a lot to Fox right that he doesn't have to watch uh, watch our ads anymore, even though they're not our ads. So, you know. uh, uh, Fox said, can't you write off your gas as a business expense? Yes. Oh, Pseudo said, did Dan hand out one of those subs he keeps hoarding? Yeah. Listen, <laughs> I keep them in a rainy day pile. You never know when you need them. Um, you can write off your gas for the record, but Kyle doesn't know how to save receipts, so. No, you can't. Yeah. You can you totally write, write off, off gas. Yes, you can write off your You know what you need to play, Laura? And you know what we both need to play? We need to play that uh, that tax preparation anime game. The preparation age anime game. Yes. I already did my taxes. Keep the game going. <laughs> I think if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were the murderer. Well, what if I hid the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. You um, said thought. Oh, they're going to give me the same line. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> well, I, I thought there would be two, like with everybody else. N no, I think it was only the poem. Did I ask for his order one. yet? No. Oop. Oh, yes, please. I'm starved. 
Actually, I'm off duty at the moment. The murder mystery is more important. The puppy just pops up. He's like, you're getting paid. <laughs> Pseudo said, Nikki, don't give your social security number to the anime waifu. <laughs> Do it. Oh, actually, Dan forgot the more important thing that Suda redeemed uh, Bug Nucky to do a split. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but my dog is barking up a storm. I yeah. can't do a split while she's barking. She she she's old and she can't see super good. So like if I do a split and she trips over me, that's on you. That's on your conscience. She's okay? barking because she wants you to do a split. She's mm -hmm. like, Daddy, I need to see you serve cunt. <laughs> serve punch? No, serve cunt. Mm -hmm. oh. Nick did two splits actually. Nick attempted to do a split and then his shorts split down the middle. That's why I've been wearing jeans for the past couple months. Um so he doesn't have to split. Yeah. Come on, Wonderbread, why would you tease him like that? And here I thought I could trust you. You've made a fool of me. Oh no, where's the bad guy? Yeah. Look, Wonderbread, you've made him a fool. What an asshole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, Wonder Bread, smooth this over. No, I'm the fool. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I smooth <laughs> things over, but at what cost? <laughs> the writing in this game is so fucking perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, let's uh, let's see what we have in our inventory. Don't worry, buddy. Don't worry, buddy. Don't worry, buddy. What's that from, Nick? Uh, Sonic Adventure. Speaking of which, you start to sound an awful lot like my dog. Hold on. Oh, He didn't even say it this time. That's okay. Just assumed at this point. We know. Dan and I know what to do when Nick walks away. Yeah, we even do it in public. We're not going to have a conversation with each other. I've talked no, to too many people today. I am exhausted. I just want to read what's on the screen and go to sleep. Yeah, yes. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to get two sidetracks, so this two-hour game is going to become a 12-hour game. Well, that's what well, happens every time, because Nick has to play with his feet and put his thumb up his butt. Hey, I'll have you know, Kyle's not controlling the game, so I'm not going to click on everything and read every bit of text. You already did. Uh, no, I just wanted to serve people food and you wouldn't let me. You fell into one of the classic traps. All right, so these are the three things that we have. We have a map of the train, a library map, and yeah. Shadow's Lock. So I think we have to start with SPO and then work our way over to Kroger. Whatever. Ben, see a poem? No. Uh, I don't think we have enough evidence yet. I would have thought right. we did. Why don't we look around a bit more? Right, let's see if we can interrogate uh, him and then maybe get him for uh, something on that. Nope, I must have missed something. Because the the room will let you look to the right. Oh, so I just completely forgot right. I did. Yeah, we, we checked that book. We did not check this bookcase, though. Uh, there you go. Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. Because it tells you when you've collected all the evidence. Oh, yeah, that's right. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. All right, let's move on then. Uh, well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the book titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. Hmm, that's odd. I know some of the books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but... Every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, but this one... The Ooh. Mirage Express Manual. Yeah, that's Ooh. what we're on. It's the user guide to the Mirage Express train that we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but this is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Bet. Mirage Express Manual added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Yeah, you're right. There He's, you they're very, very clear in telling you when you found enough. Yes. <laughs> um, let's go interrogate Vector and SBO to find out what really happened. Oh boy. Uh, hold on, Laura, can you do me a favor? Better? Uh, can you boot up r slash am I the asshole? Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, 
dude. The two of you didn't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. Wonderbread and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio was really in the library car. This music's great. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present the evidence if need. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. <laughs> Of course. Ah. Well, that tracks. Oh. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Ugh. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car. So I figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. Okay. So we know he was gone. That brings our attention to you, SBO. Roger entered the library card and found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but... Were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was! Oh! <gasps> Once SPO starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Garfield throws his weight around. <laughs> yeah, Garfield hates <laughs> Mondays. 101 ways to kill a hedgehog. Yeah, exactly. SPO doesn't know you that detective. Let the man live. He's an Eggman fan. Get him. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you want to talk, I have a hunch on what book it might be. Wonderbread, could you please help me out? All right, Wonderbread. What book do we think SBO may have been reading? Well, there's only one in my inventory. I was hoping it was uh, the Eggman one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, take that. He's going. Eh. A manual? You think SBO is reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Dear hey. Reddit. Oh, I thought you were doing it. Oh, no, I was asking if you'd load it up. No, well, well, you can't do that it. and steer. Anyway, Dear Reddit, I, 35M Triceratops, am trapped on a train with some of my cohorts. Am I the asshole for reading the train's manual while one of my other friends, quotation mark, oh. lies dead in the cart behind us? I fucked you up. You grasping! I know it! We got Uncle this one, Brad. Let's try again. Okay. Sorry. Please continue your story, Mr. Triceratops. More information needed. I am purple. The hedgehog is blue. <laughs> Clearly, we do not get along in any capacity. I don't even think he can read. He does not appreciate my poems about trains or space, and he never engages when I want to talk about bionicles with him. <laughs> As you can see, he is definitely the asshole in this situation. There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books were all in alphabetical order. All except for this manual, meaning someone at the very least picked up the manual and put it back in the incorrect place. <laughs> the lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, SBO. Hey now, I won't have you insulted my pal like the- and You know, I'm gonna say it right now, I want these two to date real bad. They kiss. I want them to kiss. I'll find you some smut later. <laughs> Thank you, because that that is my ideal pairing is smart, dumb, small, sassy child with big, dumb idiot. Yes. Calm down, Victor. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, Espio. A butcher and a poet. 
friendships can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. <laughs> In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual, Wonderbread, if you don't mind. Oh. Could you ask SBO some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz SBO about the manual to prove he read it. Read Speaking it. of Reddit. Mm -hmm. Which page Yeah, you, th you think manual? you like trains? Can you name five of their albums? Uh, uh -huh. Let's try page 97. I feel like that's Yellow. in the middle. You want to do 362? No, I don't care. Do uh, I, was gonna say, I feel like page 97 is specific. 362, I like... Like, anyone can flip to the back of the book and read it, or the front of the book, but it takes real skill to go to the middle of the book. That's fair. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During the events, they can perform a variety of tasks, and they're responsible for cleaning up trash and misses afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. Though I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. Lazy. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like SPO aced that question. Wonder Bread, hit him with another one. A foul. Oh, okay, which page do I choose? Mm, 231. You said 231. That's the button I hit. Mm -mm. the button you hit. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds and you will be charged no show fee. Uh, no show fee. This does not apply if you are over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. <laughs> That's a great line. <laughs> You can see puppy conductor's ears twitching. <laughs> Who's talking about me? Last one, Wonder Bread. Let's see if SBO can go three for three. Gotcha. Which page should I pick last? Right, I'll pick an earlier one, like 16. Okay. Yeah. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assume mood travel for guests i remember this the train has an autopilot but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present now did i pass your little test should we say no and be an asshole or say yes yes oh, we should say yes. yes okay totally it's wild you were able to retain all this information so quickly a poet's brain is often surprising. You must have a master's degree. I don't know if I'm <laughs> bragging about that. You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. <laughs> and you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be supported folks who read? No. No. You have to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate with that being the truth. Ah... Uh. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can... SPO, is it true Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that is correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true, and we have evidence to back it all up. Wonder Brad? He always puts me on the spot. Okay, Wonder Brad, thank you. We should have a piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw SPO reading. But what? Um... I... The lock, I guess? Uh, what, what's the description of the lock again? 
A lock that's been supposedly, or a lock that supposedly shadow had been placed on multiple doors of the train. Supposedly. We also supposedly. have the library map, which is an overhead map layout of the shelves and the tables included. So that's mm. that's our library map. Mm-hmm. Um, a map of the train. I myself. I've been I've been trying to talk for like five minutes, but I forgot to unmute. Whoops. <laughs> Fox, Fox said their ships for this game are Vector and SBO, Amy and Sonic, Knuckles and Shadow, Rouge and Rouge and Blaze. Sorry, I wanted to say Roger. And Tails and Wonder Bread. I agree on the Tails yeah. and Wonder Bread because two bottoms do make a right. Though I think the true ship is Knuckles and Super Monkey Ball. I agree. Well, <laughs> actually, I, if anything is to be believed, it would in fact be Kroger and Super Monkey Ball. Chad Kroger. <laughs> I didn't realize that on the map now it shows crossed out Sonic. Yeah, I should be a conductor puppy face. Yeah, that that puppy face is very sus. Very um, Andros. But yeah, I think either the map or the the shadow lock could because. We, we already know that a bunch of people passed through the car. Yeah. So, yeah. Um. So let's try the train map or the library map you wanted. Um. No, I was saying I was saying the train map shows that everyone was behind, and we know that people crossed through the room, but the shadow lock like proves that shadow was in here. That's true. So, so let's try that one. I mean, if force comes towards, sure. it just makes us go through the dialogue again. It seems, which isn't super bad, but whatever. Yeah. Either way. Shadows. Just show me your attorney badge. Yeah. Please, pray tell. What does this have to do with anything? We're up, Wonderbread. Let's get our argument together. Uh, r slash reddit. Am I the asshole? Think. Hello, reddit. 21M Florida here. Am I the asshole for kicking the alligator out of my arcade room? when he beat me at Super Monkey Ball. <laughs> you see, I invited him over for a rousing round of chips and games. But instead, he sucked all of the salt off of my nuts, no pun intended, and then Funny broke fun. my arcade machine when he beat me. It's into my time wasted. <laughs> Let's give this another go, Wonder Bread. Mm -hmm. Sorry, please continue. I didn't mean to cut you off. And by him breaking my machine, I mean he forced me to break my machine with my fist. Because he angered me so much that I could not stand to see another human playing monkey ball. And by human, I mean alligator man. <laughs> so rude. Did I sue him and have him replace my arcade cabinet? And if yes, which, why would it be anything else? How do you sue somebody? <laughs> I think what we need is r slash, can I get a lawyer? r slash legal advice. Yeah, r slash legal, that's the one. Shadow walked through the library card to get to the saloon car where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Oh, that's right, we found him on there. Yeah. So we know, well, we knew he was locking doors, but I forgot that he was all yeah. the way over there too. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. That's why Nick wears them on his feet. That's true. <laughs> SBO said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, SBO was fully seated and reading his book for a good while at this point. We know that Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way that Shadow and SBO didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. I mean, it was a simple slip up. I was just uh, fully immersed in my book. I didn't uh, notice Shadow. You're telling me that the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? I, uh, well, uh, you, you see... I can sense SBO's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors? Then in a moment, were you really in the library car at all? 
But how did Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Wonderbread. One that I would love for Espio to solve. You've got to believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. Bottom. <laughs> I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library card. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, SBO. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. That doesn't this seem right to me. Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Oh, okay. Was Espio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Hmm. Hmm. That's a good question. Well, I mean, we'd be a bad sidekick if we defended Espio, even though I feel kind of bad that we're about to make this poor little baby cry. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, I it. agree, so what? Yeah, fuck it. No, I can't interrupt Tails while he's on to something. Oh, I guess it was that. That's that's so what. I'll let him continue this line of questioning and... Oh, uh, was that me? Yep. Yeah, that was your blah, 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 voice. Yeah, Wonder Bread, my favorite and beloved employee, please. Protect the passengers aboard this train. They must be taken care of. If you fail, the lawsuits will be torturous. Don't allow such an old, feeble soul to get sued. He Laura, can you consult the Reddit? Yeah, I was going to say. Yes. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails, you're being a bully. <laughs> oh my god, if he says I would have fucking lose it. Tails. Huh? We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. We do. All right, my fellow associate, lay it on me. What piece of evidence so Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? Do you guys know this one? Probably the yeah. library map. Mm -hmm. That's what we were all making mention of it. The because uh, where is it? This one right here. He was probably right here. Nick, we can't see. Yeah, oh, that's right. So on the that. top, on the left side, there's an area mm -hmm. blocked off by two shelves. One on the left, one on the right. That's larger, and then one in the front. He was probably in that uh, little reading nook. So when Shadow walked all the way through the car, he couldn't see him. That's okay. possible. That's my guess. Yeah, could be. All right, now let's get my thoughts in order. <laughs> thought. You said thought. Uh, can we go uh, to r slash reddit? Hello, reddit. I am a 64 and a half year old puppy conductor for the railroad. Do you think it's fair that I take the brunt of every lawsuit that my company receives? You see... I was just traveling along on the railroad, driving my train as usual, when I suddenly sped it up real fast, just for funsies, and then abruptly hit the brakes. And now, did some of our customers lose their cookies? Yes, perhaps. But is that <laughs> truly worth a lawsuit? <laughs> no one did you lose their cookies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tossed their cookies. Oh, you tossed your cookies. Oh. Oh, the library map. Oh, I see. Oh, that's that's the wrong voice. The library yep. map. Oh, I see. See the exits? They're right across from one another in a straight path. If Shadow walked down this straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you have to point out where exactly in the map you mean. Why don't we have Espio do it? 
Yeah, I mean, why would he lie about this? He would prove his innocence. I think so. If he knows where he sat, show me on the map where you sat, SPO. Yeah. Also, the thing on the bottom right looks like a candy bar, but it's not. Hmm. Where could SPO have gone creative. for the shadow not to see him? Oh, I have to actually point. I'm assuming it's the table up here. Can you see the highlight? Yeah, I think, so, I think you're yeah, right. I think that's the safest bet. Thanks, honey. Sorry for the wrestling toasted up food. Mmm, food. I Interesting. That's where I was reading, sitting and reading my book. I can suck in this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it. You see Shadow and Espio. God damn it. I'm thinking of Espion. I, I'm not thinking of Espion. I was thinking of Aporion. Speaking of which, give me a minute. I need to go rub one out. Ma, 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 ma. Costa. Costa. He laughed and then tooted and then left the room. So polite. Oh, no, get out of my face, please. Mr. Chun is trying to come and steal all my food. Someone talk to me. Wow. No. <laughs> Wait, where did Nick go? Oh, my God. He said he had to go rub one out, Daniel. Where were you? Oh, I don't know. I didn't hear him say that. <laughs> I got the hiccups now. Someone's That's scared me. Because Costa farted on you? Yep. It scared the hiccups into me. It scared her real bad. Mm -hmm. That oh, confirms it then. Oh my god, dog. Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot. Because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or... Vice versa. Holy you're, shit. You're really gonna tell me the fucking ultimate life form couldn't see past a crack in a bookshelf? Maybe, but we haven't asked him yet. Y you know, that's valid. It makes a lot of Don't sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, SBO. There's just no way you would have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping, despite not telling the truth. But I am glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all our questions. Uh -huh. Does the book connect to the train's Wi-Fi? <laughs> <laughs> I can see my time. <laughs> well, we did it. Another pair of alibis validated. If I connect yeah. to the train's Wi-Fi, do the same miles per hour apply to my phone, will I be charged for those? We're going to get to the point in this game where all of the alibis get validated and there's literally nothing left to do. That's mm -hmm. true. Don't worry, lock doors to worry about. But I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. At the end of the day, we're just going to learn that Sonic died of a chili dog induced heart attack. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Why well, I'm exhausted. Causes. Sorry, what was that, Laura? Natural causes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Um, since we since we kind of have a semi happy end going on so far, I want to just read some of the comments. Um, one from Juck saying Sonic X being dead. Hmm. Um, and Pseudo says I would not agree to Knuckles X Super Monkey Ball, especially after he beat it. It's true. You don't you don't beat the things you love. Well, unless you beat your dick, but that's a little bit different. That's a metaphorical beating. Speaking of which. I have a yeah. picture to show all of you later. It's pretty it? physical. Yeah. I don't want to see your belly button again. It's not me. I told you. I, I just left for five seconds. To, never mind. I'll explain it later. Um, conductor sus. The conductor is Eggman's confirmed. We're not confirmed on it yet, but it seems heavily implied based on his weird shadowy figure. Mm. Um, and is it cannibalism if Eggman eats an omelet? Yes. Um... His aunt is an egg. <laughs> I I need to meditate on that um, and Fox says you've got to come to your boyfriend's defense it's a little too late for me to come to SPO's defense but I mean you you said it yourself it's it's Tails X Wunderbread he is yeah, my boyfriend he oh my bad oh, sorry oh my bad I thought he was telling me to defend SPO because I read it out of context 
Anyway. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I'll have plenty of questions for Roger and especially Shadow. Oh, it seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed her earlier. Then that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vecto and SBO. Or sorry. Uh, no, yeah, I got that right. Vector and SBO. Yep. Give him a heck. And if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I respect a man who's dedicated to his role. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murderer, a murderer is on the loose while doors getting locked. It feels like a weird line, but tick tock, tick tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. <laughs> Stupid. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Wonderbread. Let's see what's next. <laughs> it cut you off right when you said come. Oh, wait. Nick, save it. Yeah, you're right. My bad. In the words uh, of you. Oh, my bad. Look at that bottom face. And the tiny hat. Ooh. -woo. The oh, hat. Ooh. -woo. Yeah, that's a major ooh -woo face. He even has his hands up and everything. Um, you sure you don't want to stay and look at the good books a little, or all the great books a little longer? Just one more look around, or the mystery calls. I think mystery we found calls. everything. Mystery yeah, calls. I was gonna say, I think we found everything here. Okay, then the investigation continues. That's right, my little fox friend. Our investigation will continue next week on The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Brought to you by Mighty's Motivational Posters. Just roll with it. <laughs>